everyone, welcome to our small footprint. I have managed to set up the camera on the dashboard, the phone on the dashboard, uh, to take film, to take footage. Uh, I don't know how great the sound quality is going to be, and the angle is lovely. Not that I like looking at myself on camera ever, but you know. <laughs> um, so it is Friday morning, and I'm doing the final day of the shopping. So yesterday I did all Aldi, Bunnings, and uh, Woolworths and all that sort of thing and loaded up the car. You can see behind me picked up some stuff from friends and things like that. And today is the last stretch of it where we go from, I leave mum's in the morning, so it's 8 a.m. ish, and then I go to the fruit and veg and butcher at Browns Plains and then on through to Costco at Ipswich and then on the way home. So we're heading to the fruit, veg and butcher now. Uh, mum drives her own car because it's a significant distance from the Costco back to her place. So I'm not going to drop her back, that would be silly. So she drives her own car, follows me along and drives herself home from Costco. She doesn't have to come along, I can manage it on my own, but she enjoys it and it's Fridays are her day off, so that's cool. So we're heading to the fruit and veg now. Uh, and then we'll progress on from there. So I just thought rather than trying to do an intro later when it's dark after I have put all the groceries away, if I check in every now and again while I'm driving and heading where I'm going and try and remember to film some Costco maybe or some of the fruit and veg shop or I, I get all the, my trolley full of stuff and I even forget to take photos of it so I walk out to the car with the trolley and then I start unloading it and I go darn it should have taken a photo at least of the trolley but I forget so we'll see how we go it's just a really long day like and because it's been such a process the same process that I've done for months and months now that it's like you know the process is that you go in you get your groceries and you uh, take them out and you put them away and you just get moving to the next place and I tend to just keep doing the process without worrying about uh, what you know taking photos or documenting it or anything like that so I uh, definitely need to get better at that but it's you know it's all work in progress having this here means that I can chat to you in the car in between so if there's anything that I wanted to tell you in between then that was cool uh, and makes it a little bit more interactive though um, when I pull this off the phone I'll have to see how good the sound is and things like that and yes as I said the angle of the video is stunning but that's you know half of the course when you're recording yourself and editing yourself on a video so anyway heading on to the highway shortly to head out to Brands Plains and I'll check back in with you as we go to more things So I might have to do an extra day next trip and 
make sure that I sort things out at home to be able to compensate for that. But anyway, Costco was done now and I'm on my way home. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flick you around uh, to face forward because the footage that I released this morning of the drive was from Toowoomba towards Brisbane. Now I'm on the other side of Toowoomba heading towards Mulberry and this is all the a lot of the crops and a lot of the fields where they've got crops in and generally speaking I hit sunset at some point driving this way as well which is always nice and I'm always when I'm driving it I look at it and I think it'd be really nice to pull over and take some photos but I never do because at this point in the trip I just want to get back so maybe I'll get some nice uh, scenery with the camera in the phone of the the sunset and the across the fields and across the that sort of thing this way so I'll turn you around and then I'll use some of this to sped up as well in the video and then when I get home I will try and set up the camera as well to show the unloading of the ute because everyone always enjoys that and I didn't do that last last month maybe not even the month before uh, because in winter it's dark quite regularly by the time I get to home um, but I'm doing okay for time today so I should be there before five and sunset is getting a little bit later now that it's warming up again a little bit. So uh, I should be able to have daylight enough to set up the tripod and the camera to show the havoc that is everyone helping you to unpack the car. And I'm pretty loaded up because uh, a friend got me some more milk crates to use for the uh, chicken pens as well. So they're stuffed in here as well as the you know the cultivator that I bought in the little greenhouses and all that extra sort of stuff top of the groceries so uh, it'll be interesting to get it all loaded so anyway I'm gonna turn you around and enjoy the scenery
Alrighty, so let's get started. We got, this is a bag of just Aldi's coffee beans. I actually got some from Costco as well, but they must be in stuff that hasn't come in yet. So we've got some coffee beans. I got three kilos all up because we only had two left in the crate. So I like to have five at a minimum. I got two packs of the Posada that I use to make my sauces and things like that. Uh, I got four of the boxes of the coconut cream that we use for our uh, coffees, iced coffees, all that sort of thing. Three of the Skippy peanut butter, which is from Costco. I got a whole bunch of raw sugar for canning purposes mostly. I got uh, apple juice for Daryl. So this is one and there's a box of six as well of those. Uh, tortillas for the kids for when I haven't made any. There's four packs and each pack has three packs of 12. These are a really good price. They're only $8 something from Costco. So they have a really long date on them. They can sit inside for whenever I haven't made something for uh, lunch and they can just help themselves. I got a couple of bags of corn chips. Some... I got some shampoo and conditioner. I still haven't got around to making our own up yet and we and I need to have some just in case. There's a little tub of band-aids for one of the kids who requested some band-aids and some toothpaste. I managed to find an SLS free one with some fluoride in it. So we're gonna give that a go. Uh, I grabbed some more spatulas. I really like this set of spatulas from Woolworth that has like the spoon shaped one as well. Some dish detergent. I buy this one from Aldi because it doesn't seem to affect Sonnet's eczema so I grab some of that again when I make my liquid soap I'll be able to make the shampoo the dish detergent all those sorts of things they didn't have any of the laundry liquid that we use so once we run out I'm going to be a bit stuffed so I'm going to have to make more because we don't have any I grabbed some pesto for the shelf uh, we like that with the pasta dish and it's still going to be a couple of months before I get good basil growth some strawberry jam i prefer that blueberry jam with the nice jars but they have no blueberry jam at the moment so this is cheaper so i grab the strawberry jam uh which we have jam on the shelf but they like to have some store-bought stuff as well some tomato paste some oyster sauce a couple of bacon seasonings again i really need to figure out a recipe to make this myself but i haven't yet so i bought a couple on special there is a couple of different small packs of spices that i grabbed because i needed them for uh, uh brining my silver side i've got some honey for the kids and this was at costco it was only uh a dollar per hundred so I decided to give that a go I can use that to fill small ones if need be I got four packets of the rice bubbles they still have a whole bunch of wheat bix and I made them granola the other day so I just grabbed them for the next few days some rice cakes there is nine packets of those because we still had a few left rice crackers I got eight of each flavor because again there was some left so this tops up the stock. I got 24 of the rice milk that they like. This rice milk, I normally buy from Aldi because it's cheap. It's $1.59 per litre. This month, it was $1.99 per litre. So that has gone up considerably, which is unfortunate. Uh, I got some dry spaghetti and some dry macaroni just to bump the stocks up. We still have plenty of spirals in the cupboard. So we just got some extra ones of those. And and I got our usual canned goods. So we're running low on coconut cream. I've been doing a lot of baking and this is what I use for most of my baking. So I got 24 cans of those, 12 cans of just the crushed tomatoes and 12 cans of corn. Now I also got a some paper towel. Uh, this is for me actually in summer, my I use it for myself and the uh nappy pants are for orpheus and some wipes as well there we got two lots of the toilet paper because now that we're going six weekly we tend to use slightly more than one and i just don't want to run out so i grabbed two lots of them from the fruit and veg store there's more to come i think but this is the main stuff we got a big box of pink lady apples these are gorgeous looking apples they were 99 cents a kilo i got a box of bananas and a, the potatoes, these were 29 cents a kilo. So I got a 20 kilo box of these white potatoes. Also grabbed just some baby red ones from Costco because I really like these for underneath the pork rind when we cook that off. And I got a full box of corn cobs. These were cheap, a lot of rubbish that I'm gonna have to deal with. I'd prefer corn in the husk, but 
this it was cheap it was worthwhile grabbing and pineapples the small pineapples were three for three dollars again so i grabbed 15 of those i also grabbed a box of beans now these beans were very cheap and my kids eat them just as snacks i might pickle some as well uh, but we'll just eat them roasted for the next week or whatever and until they're gone a cauliflower which wasn't too badly priced for a change a lettuce some celery and some broccoli for eating initially and a couple of other non-food items i got were some clamps so we're going to try using clamps for the sausage stuffer on the bench so these ones should work better than the ones that i did got previously and a this home measuring stud measuring thing was $40 off at Costco so that might help us with measuring things rather than using a tape measure. I also got a bag of onions because I need to make some more caramelized onion jam so I got a bag of onions to do that and a bag of baker's flour. So that's this lot. Let me get this put away and reload the table and bring you back for the next bit. Alrighty, second table load. We have a 10 kilo box of clean pork back fat uh, for rendering into lard. And then I got two of the boxes of the frozen chicken thighs that I got last time. Uh, they work out really well valued and because there's so much effort to use, we tend to use them slower. So I decided to do that. I got some frozen veggies, so just the standards peas, carrot, corn, the winter veggies there from Aldi, and then these ones, which are my preferred, but are more expensive. So we, depends what we're cooking as to which ones we cook up. So I see those as well. I got one lot of mints. I still have mints from the quarter of a cow in the freezer, but I grabbed one lot of mints because normally I do hot dogs for dinner on grocery night, but I didn't get any hot dog rolls. So I'll probably do hamburgers instead. Uh, I got various different bacon. So this one is a diced bacon. It's only $5 a kilo. It's two kilos for $10. Diced bacon from the butcher. Then I got some middle bacon from Aldi, which is $9 a kilo, I think. And then the economy bacon, which is only $6 a kilo. So I use it for various things. Uh, like the middle bacon's nice for frying up when you're eating it, like as bacon and eggs or whatever. But the diced bacon's fine for cooking and the economy bacon's fine for cutting up for cooking as well. So... I got two things of chicken breasts. These are both two and a 2.4-ish kilos each. And then I got two of the pork roasts that I always grab. These are the $6.99 a kilo rolled pork roast. So I got two of those. I got two uh, packs of ghee, so four litres of ghee. And I got some sultanas for the kids because they have finished that six kilo box that I got in the bulk order. We don't have any frozen fruit at the moment, so I got some frozen fruit and we'll freeze some of those bananas that were in the box. This dragon fruit blend had the dragon fruit, mangoes, strawberries and peaches and was only worked out about $9 a kilo and the three berry blend is the same. So they're the two cheapest per kilo frozen fruits that Costco bar sells, so that's what I grabbed. I have some cheese here, my pizza cheese that I always stick in the freezer for me to use and then some slightly fancier cheese for making mac and cheese and things like that for me. I just stick it in the freezer. If it gets used this six weeks, it gets used. If it doesn't, then it can be used the next time. The Parmesan and the cheddar are open because I used them to cook some food for mum in the third mix. I got a pack of mushrooms for Daryl and a, this just looked interesting for the kids to try. So I've had these coconut rolls before. They're really nice. These ones are mango and blueberry flavored and they're little individual packets. So there's 22 little packs in there so I thought the kids could have them as a treat. I grabbed the two for five or whatever it is at Costco for the English muffins and that's just breakfast for tomorrow and the next day because I wanted something easy rather than having to worry about baking any bread and this is the Costco coffee beans that I got. These ones are only a uh, dollar per hundred. The Aldi ones are dollar twenty per hundred so they're not too bad but these were a dollar per hundred so I thought it was worth grabbing some of them as well. So that was all the meat. Now, I didn't get a whole lot of meat because we still have beef from the quarter of a cow in the fridge and freezer as well. So I didn't need too much. So this kept the Costco bill down a little bit this month. 
I was going to pack it away and I think I missed this when I was talking through. So I also got the kids some ham. These are those individual packs of ham that work really well. There's less wastage in those from Costco and I grabbed myself a salami as well that I like for using on pizzas and things like that.